Okay, welcome. Today's January 14th, 28, 2019. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm still saying 2018. So, hi, I'm Eduardo. And today we're going to be bringing you an interesting topic regarding GoDaddy. So, I personally don't like recommending the use of GoDaddy for anything. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's email, hosting, or getting your domain. I say stay away from GoDaddy. Don't even touch it with the 10-foot pole. So, and uh, today we're going to be bringing you a story as to one of the other many reasons why you shouldn't be using GoDaddy uh, for anything really. Uh, but, so over the weekend a story broke where someone was having issues with their site. So let's go ahead and see if we can cover that. So obviously here, this is the GoDaddy site. Um, obviously you can get yourself a website within an, under an hour, as they say. You can get web hosting. Obviously they're known for their domains. You can get yourself a domain. Uh, email, all kinds of things. So this user over here on Twitter uh, basically says, apparently a hosting provider is injecting its own JavaScript into customer's website. Uh, it's opt out by the way, he says. So um, and then he links to a blog post over here. And this blog post um, is written by uh, Igor Kroman over on his blog. Um, so he says, GoDaddy is sneakily injecting JavaScript into your website and how to stop it. So he basically goes and outlines the reason uh, he discovered that GoDaddy was doing this. And then basically goes to show you how to pay, you know, opt out of the, of this um, invasive, um, uh, <laughs> invasiveness of uh, GoDaddy tracking you and all those things. So he goes on and says, I recently started having issues in the admin interface of a website I run, and I decided to check the browser console to see if any errors were being displayed here. Uh, there were, and among them was an error st uh, stating that JavaScript, that a JavaScript uh, math file being loaded and failing that I did not recognize. This meant that the actual JavaScript file itself was already loaded via my website. This set off all sorts of alarms for me, and now I started to dig in further. So he goes on, try to you know fix some kind of little bug that he's having on his site. Doesn't know what's going on. Goes in there, checks, and he sees this error. And he's like, oh man, I think something's being injected here. I'm not sure what's going on. Did I get hacked? <laughs> so that's kind of like his little thought process there. So he checks his file system for any suspicious files. And he says that there were none. He checks his source code and he doesn't find anything there. But then he starts to realize that there's, you know, in all his pages, there's a script being injected, um, you know, between his uh, HTML tags. And he gives the, the screenshot, or not screenshot, an actual code example of the script that was being injected. Uh, then, he, you know, he says, of course, that the, that that comment in the script was a giveaway of what was going on. But I didn't immediately want to believe that, that the website host itself would be injecting a JavaScript a script into my website without my consent. So obviously, he was pretty upset about that. He felt that uh, GoDaddy took a step too far. And then he says, turned out that exactly that's exactly what GoDaddy was doing. And they justified it by collecting metrics to improve performance. So that's the irony there. Uh, he was having issues with this site. Um, and, but yeah, GoDaddy was injecting this code to try to improve the performance of his site. So it's kind of a bit ironic there. So then he goes on to explain what the, what the technology, what, you know, the JavaScript that was being injected, what, what, was, what, what was it for? And this, he says there that it's used for real user metrics as GoDaddy describes it. And um, basically he goes on to explain that anybody who is a US customer uh, of GoDaddy basically gets opted in uh, this uh, automatically. So whenever you sign up for a service, uh, specifically in this case, it was a uh, web hosting, you are automatically, um, you know, uh, opted in to this uh, service. Uh, but obviously, you know, uh, they do give you the, the chance to opt out. And then he goes on explaining, it gives you some good screenshots of how to opt out of, of this uh, tracking. So uh, he says, he says here, I'm not against uh, web, host is pro uh, web host providers providing how their services are running using a technology like uh, real user metrics is a great way to do it. But this is meant to be a passive technology that is invisible to the end user. Injecting JavaScript into pages being served is far more, far more, far from passive. 
And at least in my eyes, it's a violation of trust between the web host and its customer. And that's the key part there. That's the key part that I always keep going back to when I, whenever I have a discussion of using GoDaddy or not. I don't trust them as a web host provider or any other services because they do things like this. Or they, you know, they've done uh, several things in the past that just, they're just not, uh, they're not that great towards uh, the users. Um, they do it in the sense of trying to help you and try to improve services and things like that. But as you see here, um, it, it didn't quite work out that way. He went on to say that, you know, it actually the bug, the original bug that he was trying to squash was ended up being something else. But through the process of trying to squash that bug, he discovered this and he wrote up a pretty good blog post about it. Um, so I also want to bring up real quick, you know, the, if you ever have a sense of, uh, you know, moving away from a service that um, you feel maybe is not uh, respecting your privacy and so on, there's this great site called Twitching.Social. Uh, basically, it says here, ethical and easy to use privacy conscious alternatives to, you know, the current, um, you know, big social networks or services that you may be using. So they start off here, there are a list of alternatives to Facebook and Twitter, alternatives to YouTube, uh, alternatives to Gmail, alternatives to Chrome, uh, Google Analytics, and so on. So they go, they give you some great uh, listings there of things you can switch over to if you know you don't uh, agree with some of these practices that, for example, GoDaddy may be doing. So you know that's just my two cents on the topic. Um, again, it's one of the main reasons why I don't like uh, recommending using GoDaddy. Um, and again, you know, their services are not that great. Um, I always like to say you get what you pay for. Uh, so if you're paying for something cheap, you're more than likely to get something cheap. But on top of that, then they're doing all this kind of um, very pretty invasive uh, uh, user collection of metrics and things like that on, for you. So then they can probably resell. So it's kind of like they're double dipping there. So, you know, what do you guys think on, on this issue? Do you guys use GoDaddy or is this something that you're possibly gonna move away? Another YouTuber, um, uh, over at the Linux Gamer, you know, he he great he made a great video uh, regarding this as well, uh, because someone pointed out that uh, one of his sites was running on GoDaddy, and one of his sites also had this uh, um, um, JavaScript being injected into it. And of course, he explains his reasoning for that, which is totally understandable. Um, it, it happens that sometimes you know we sign up for GoDaddy years ago, and we still have that service, and. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check out his channel so you can figure out um, his explanation on that. And he gives a great explanation, uh, quite justified his reasonings. And um, but yeah, so it kind of gives you a different perspective of someone who's actually currently using uh, GoDaddy and just happened to have this happen to them as well. Um, so go ahead and check that out. I'll link that in the description. So go, hey guys, um, that'll be it for this week. So go ahead and subscribe for more, uh, uh, more stuff weekly. And I'll go ahead and be leaving you some uh, affiliate links in the description. If you want, if you're currently using GoDaddy and you want to move away from GoDaddy, I'll go ahead and drop two links uh, that I have uh, affiliate links. So it's just a quick way to help out the channel if you if you feel so. Uh, so the first one will be for DigitalOcean. Uh, you get a quick uh, little, um, I believe it's uh, $25 or $5 uh, um, off um, for, for signing up other servers. And the other one's for Green Geeks. Uh, it's another great hosting service uh, that I use um, and I highly recommend because they use uh, uh, renewable energies to power the servers, which is pretty cool. Uh, so uh, go ahead and drop those in there. Um, you don't have to, you know, you don't, you don't have to use them, but it's just something they're there to help out the channel a little bit. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you next time.